Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, glory to the love of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I welcome you all to this media prophetic trump. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I expect to hear the voice of God today in the name of Jesus. Amen. The voice of the Lord is the victory of the saints. What a joy that we have privileged to hear his voice always because we are the sheep of his pasture. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's be on our feet this morning and begin to appreciate the King of Glory who has brought us into his banqueting hall this morning, this evening, this night, depending on our location, to bless us as only he can. Give him praise, give him adoration. He has done all things well. Magnify his holy name. There is no one like him. There is no one like him. There is no one like him. I appreciate his majesty on high. I appreciate his majesty on high. Give him praise. Give him adoration. Give him all the praise and adoration for all his goodness, for all his blessings, for all the things he has done for us all through the week, all through the past six months, all through the ages past. Let's appreciate him. He has been our refuge. He has been our strength. He has been our help. We are marvelously happy. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him praise. Let's give him all the honor, all the glory, all the splendor, because he is our God, the God of all, walking salvation in the midst of the earth. Appreciate him this morning. Appreciate him. Give him praise. Give him adoration. All glory, all splendor, all majesty. Be ascribed unto his holy name. Appreciate him. He is the balm of Gilead. He has healed all our diseases. He took our sicknesses. He took our infirmities. He took all sickness. He took all disease upon him by his own body. He bore our sickness. He bore our sin on his own body. Today we are divinely healed. We are living in health because he has done all that for us. I appreciate it because he has become our righteousness. By reason of his vicarious death and mighty resurrection. Appreciate him, give him praise, give him adoration. Appreciate him, give him praise. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. Let's welcome the Holy Spirit. He's here in our midst. He's here in our midst. He's here in our midst. He said, I will send you another comforter who will come to you. And when he comes, he will lead you into all truth. Appreciate him because he's here, leading us into all truth. He has ever, he has ever been with us, helping us. He's our comforter, our strengthener, our intercessor. He's our everything. He's our Lord and maker. And whenever he's recognized as Lord, there is liberty. There is liberty. Let's appreciate him because he, he's the only person that can guarantee our liberty. He is the earnest of our sonship. Give him praise. Give him adoration. Give him all the praise. Give him all the honor. Give him all the honor. Welcome him, welcome him, Holy Spirit, welcome him, welcome him. You are welcome, you are welcome. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, Son of God. We honor you, Spirit of Christ. Thank you. And we pray the blood. Let's pray the blood of Jesus. 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 Father, we give you praise. Bless you. Thank you. You are worthy of our praise. You are worthy. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We are now exalted. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Hear these comforting words from our Lord Jesus Christ concerning this house. He said, And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fathers, a feast of wines on the leaves, of fathers full of marrow. Of wise on the least well refined. He said that he would destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people Amen. and the veil that is spread over all nations. Amen. He said he will swallow up death in victory. Yes. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces. Amen. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth. Amen. For the Lord has spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. 
This is the Lord we have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall be trodden down under him. Even as straw is trodden down for the dog deal. Amen. But one of the Lord says also concerning this house, that it shall come to pass in the last days, that, the, that this mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain, Amen. and shall be exalted above the hills, Amen. and all nations shall flow unto it. Amen. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. Amen. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. I appreciate him this morning. Give him praise, give him adoration. He has done all things well. Amen. Magnify him. Hallelujah. In Jesus' Hallelujah. precious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 You are well. Amen. You're all welcome to this mid-year prophetic trump. We are going to worship God. We are going to lift up our voices <coughs> and exalt His holy name. Appreciate Him, thank Him, thank Him. He's the Almighty God. There is no like Him. There's none like Him. Let's give Him all the glory. Let's give Him all the praise for who He is. We give You glory, Lord. As we
I'm blessed and highly favored. That is my covenant identity. Are we blessed this morning? Yes. We shall continue this service of media prophetic trump by reading Psalm 46. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be, car be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof flow and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. Amen. The hidden raised. Yes, the kingdoms Lord. were moved, yes, and he uttered his voice. Amen. The earth melted. Amen. The Lord of hosts is with us. Amen. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. Come, behold the words of the Lord. Amen. What desolations he had made in the earth. He had made wars to cease unto the ends of the earth. Amen. He broke the bow and cut the spear in sunder. He burned his chariots in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted in, in the heavens. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. I'm blessed and highly saved. God is my covenant. Amen. 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 I'm blessed and highly favored. That is my covenant. In this media, prophetic prayer. Prophetic Trump will be going straight into our intercessory prayers for today. And when we rise to pray, we shall be praying in this wise. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the impactful prophetic prayer summit resulting in the renewal of our spiritual consciousness and the ignition of the revival fire in our midst. Our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verse 23, that says, This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. So without understanding, let's be on our feet even as we pray. So after me, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name, name of, of Jesus Christ. Christ. Thank you for the impactful prophetic prayer summit. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the impactful prophetic prayer, prayer summit. Resulting in the renewal of our spiritual consciousness. Resulting in the renewal of our spiritual consciousness. And the ignition of the revival fire in our midst. And the ignition of the revival fire in our midst. Let's pray that prayer. Father, Father in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, we we'll thank you for the impactful you. prophetic prayer Lord summit. Resulting in the renewal of our spiritual consciousness. And the ignition the of the revival fire in our midst. Lord, we are and grateful. Lord, we thank you for this successful prophetic prayer midst. summit. Thank you, Lord, for the impact, oh God, in that success. Thank you for the renewal of our spiritual consciousness and the ignition of the revival fire in our midst. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We appreciate you, Jesus. We say thank, thank you, Almighty God, God. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you, Lord. We are grateful. We say thank you, Lord. 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 We Thank you, Lord, for the impactful prophetic prayer summit, resulting in the renewal of our spiritual consciousness and the ignition of the revival fire in our midst. Lord, we say thank you, Lord, Lord, we say thank you, we are grateful, we are grateful, we are grateful, Lord, we say thank you, Lord, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, we are grateful, 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 we are grateful,
you, thank you, because we know that any time we call on you, you hear us. Thank you, because we know that we will pray according to your will. You hear us also. Thank you, God, for answering us and all our prayers. Thank you for doing that which was you can do. We exalt you, Jesus, we magnify your holy name. There is none like you, there is none to be compared with you. Lord, we worship you, we exalt you, we exalt your holy name. Lord, we thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, we give you all the praise, we give you all the praise, we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the praise, there is none to be compared with you. You are worthy of all our praises, you are worthy of all our praises, you are worthy of all our praises. Thank you, Father. Lord, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. You thank, have you, done thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We say thank you for answering all our prayers. We say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Be thou exalted. Thank you, Father. 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 My justification time. You overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimonies. Amen. Amen. Please listen attentively as we take the following documented praise reports. Business insights. I have been in business for some time now and have carried out my business duties like any average Nigerian will do, operating with common sense. I had the desire to get into the next phase of business, so worked harder, but the work never paid off until I attended a business summit organized by Beautify Sense Church in the world. There I caught light on the standing and I knew how to go about my business. I was impacted upon and now my business has led to the next phase. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The testifier is Michael Amosike. Don't worry. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The next one says supernatural supplies. Amen. Supernatural supplies. Amen. I want to thank God for his goodness upon my life. I came for the breaking through a break time meeting organized by Beautify Sense Worldwide Ministry. God supernaturally visited me. I started a business trip some time ago, trusting God for provision in faith. I invested quite a lot and got to the finishing stage and needed money to complete it. I have been trusting God for provision while in the meeting during the intercessory prayers. My phone was ringing repeatedly. I couldn't take the call because we were praying. When the prayers were over, I stepped out curiously to know who the caller was. To the glory of God, the person was making inquiries about the business to know why it was not completed and I answered. The person immediately asked for my account details and told me to expect the money which I received. Praise the Lord. Amen. The testifier is Sister Mabel. Amen. Amen. Impartation to start again. I had a business idea of producing fruits. I ventured into the business but abandoned it due to the challenges I encountered. I was dilly-dallying to start again due to my previous ugly experience until I came to the Award Business Summit in March where I was impacted. Consequently, in the course of my Bible studies, the Lord led me to the book of John chapter 6, verse 5 to 14. Jesus' secret on business multiplication of five loaves of bread and two fish that made a little boy a millionaire overnight. So following Jesus' model, we jump-started production in May 2017 and made a profit of 101%. And again, after two weeks of production, we already have an outlet at Abba, and the head office is in Enugu. Right, I see the business taking to unimaginable heights and favorably competing with other long-established food drinks. I give God all the glory. All the glory. And the testifier is amazing, Uche. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read one more for this segment it's a very long one mm -hmm. it's a catalog of testimonies titled 
of Ben Edom series of testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Obededom series of testimonies. The background, Obededom series of testimonies is about the manifestation of God's faithfulness in my family that now resides in the campus area of the University of Nigeria and Soka. The series of blessings was sparked off by the moving of Beautify Science Church Foundational Altars Rock to our family home in Lagos as a parting gift from the Prime Minister, Pastor Tochuku Baldwin Kemakola. Just as in the case of Obededo, whose family witnessed unprecedented prosperity within three months the act was in his home. In the same vein, my family experienced a dramatic turnaround as soon as the altar rod arrived at home, as my testimony will reveal. I saw a seat on the altar as led and directed by the Deputy Prime Minister, Pastor Vanessa Tinkemakolam, and the Prime Minister released the rock for us to take home and experience the grace of beautification. According to the declarations of the man of God, as soon as the foundational altars rock reached our home, the miracle started rolling in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blessings began with our daughter's graduation from Oko Polytechnic, Anambra State, Nigeria in 2017 for a diploma course to her immediate admission in the University of Nigeria and Soka for a degree program in January 2018. Shortly after this, I resigned my job in Lagos in March 2018 to start a personal catering business. The business idea was inspired by the series of the entrepreneurial service that I attended at the Beautify Search Church in Nigeria, which held at the last Sunday of every month. After my resignation, my husband and I relocated to Osoka for study and business. Here in Soka, we began our eatery business that is known as Quinox Food Sports, located in the hilltop area of the university main campus at Osoka. My husband and I built a relatively small eatery shop, 18 by 8 feet on the land leased to us. The miracle associated with the establishment of our eatery is that by faith, we started the building projects with an insignificant amount of money but along the line, God provided resources through family members, friends, and loved ones via generous support and interest-free loans, payable whenever. So within a space of three months, June to August 2018, we completed the project and unveiled our eatery brand, Quinox Food Spot, on Saturday, September 8, 2018. But the business proper began on Tuesday, September 11, 2018. Since our former commencement, business has been booming both in the indoor and outdoor catering services. Amen. God has been helping us prepare very delicious meals Amen. with our customers, always testifying to that. We have just sealed an outdoor catering deal that is scheduled to hold in December. The significance of this outdoor is that we got a call for the business in October, exactly one month from the commencement of the business. The blessing which has been unveiling since we opened Quinox Shop has continued to evolve in series. Some concluded while many are still in the offering. Consequently, I have decided to be presenting them in series. So as soon as a collection of testimonies comes full cycle, I will share them as a series of the subsequent batch of the Obed Edom series testimony. Amen. 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 And because the establishment of our eatery business, the high point of my testimony in this batch, I attached the picture of the opening of the series. Finally, I return all glory to God who has asked me to, who considered me worthy to have this ark symbolized by his altar to permanently resting in our home. I also thank God for the attendant blessings that continue to trail this divine orchestration. My warm thanks equally go to our godparents, Pastor Tochuku and Vanessa Kemakolam, the Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister, Beautify Sense Church Worldwide, the channels through which God has used to deliver this obedient blessings to my family. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. The testifier is Gloria 
Chika, Kano, Osoka, Nigeria. Who is the doer of all these? God. In your seated position, lift up your hands above your head. Begin to appreciate the Almighty God. Thank you for these great and awesome testimonies. Thank you for confirming His word in our midst. Thank you for tolerant testimonies. Thank you for breakthroughs, business breakthroughs, business insights, supernatural supplies. His word is here and amen. He has never failed. God is set to do yours for you today. The word is about to come forth. Open your heart and ask God for your own point of testimonies today. That even as the Prime Minister is about to come forward to bring the word of God, that God is going to speak to you. You're going to receive light into that situation that you come back to testify. Father, we give you praise. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, we are set to hear your word. Thank Speak you. to us, O oh God. Use your son mightily as only you can. Thank you, Let him bless us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. That as we gather again next Sunday, we'll testify to your goodness, to your faithfulness, and to your glory. Amen. Have your way, Lord. Yes, we we'll surrender Lord. completely to you. Do that which only you can do. And take all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 I'm blessed and highly favored. That is my covenant identity. Amen. Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Did you hear those wonderful testimonies? Yes. yes. Let's appreciate the door. Let's appreciate it one more time. Lord is the door. He is the door. Is the door. Appreciate it. Give him praise. Give him adoration. He is worthy of all our praise. Amen. He is worthy of all our praise. Amen. He is worthy of all our praise. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you excited seeing this first Sunday in the month of July? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you to the month of July. Welcome you to the second half of the year 2020. Amen. A year of elevation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We can see that in this place we enjoy the acts of God. Yes. God is embarrassing us with his blessings. Oh, yes. And we are grateful for it. Father, we thank you. Amen. For those outstanding testimonies, we say thank you. Amen. For the things you have done for us in this house, we say thank you. Amen. Amen. For the things that you have done that are yet to manifest, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because we know that you have done all things well. Amen. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. I say blessed be your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank God for bringing us into this great month of July. We have seen the first half of the year, and God has preserved our lives. Amen. In this first half, we had so many ugly news. Oh. But the good news is that you have good news to share. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In spite of the ugly news being banded in town. Oh. You still have good news to share. Amen. The good news is that you and I, we are still alive. Yes. And the Bible says a living dog is better than a dead Amen. life. Amen. Provided that we are alive, things can change for us. Yes. No matter what you're going through. Amen. So in this mode, expect God to help you Amen. in every area of your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Are we all here? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Expect God to help you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In this month of July, our prophetic focus for the month is I am marvelously helped. Amen. Can you say that after me? I am marvelously helped. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's go to 2 Chronicles chapter 26 and verse 15. 2 Chronicles chapter 26 and verse 15. 2 Chronicles 
chapter 26, verse 15, reads, And he made in Jerusalem engines, invented by cunning men, to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks, to shoot arrows and great stones without. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This month, God will marvelously help you. Amen. I said, this month, expect the marvelous help of God. Amen. The Bible says that because of the marvelous help of God, Uzziah made some outstanding and unprecedented inventions in his time. He did even beyond his natural capabilities. Why? Because he was marvelously helped by God. When you read the New Living Translation, it says, the New Living Translation says, The New Living Translation says, And he built strong structures on the walls of Jerusalem, designed by experts to protect those who shot arrows and hurled large stones from the towers and the corners of the wall. His fame spread far and wide, for the Lord gave him marvelous help, and he became very powerful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is becoming very powerful this morning. Amen. By reason of the help of God. Amen. By reason of the marvelous help of God. Amen. The Bible says, by reason of the help of God that his fame spread abroad. Oh. By reason of the, the by of the inventions, the, the strange works of his hands, the curious works mm. of his hands. Because the Lord marvelously helped him. Amen. That will be a portion this month Amen. and the remaining months of this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So this, this is a media prophetic drop. I have come today to prophesy to you, to tell you, to declare to you what to expect from God beginning from this month of July to the end of this month and even beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So in this month of July and the many months of this year, expect the marvelous help of God. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Expect God to accelerate your speed of elevation Amen. in this second half of the year. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This is a year of elevation. Mm. And God will marvelously help you to ensure that you are elevated in your place of assignment, elevated in your business, elevated in your finances, elevated spiritually, elevated in every area of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That it will be said of you that he was marvelously helped of God and that he became very, very powerful. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I see someone becoming very, very powerful Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In, his, in your fear of influence, you are going to become very powerful Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see pow very powerful businessmen, entrepreneurs emerging from this assembly Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see very powerful entrepreneurs emerging from this assembly Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see very powerful men and women of God emerging from this assembly Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see very powerful politicians, individuals of great substance yes. emerging from this assembly Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see governors, presidents, Amen. senators, House, House of Reps members, congressmen and women, Amen. oh, Please. mayors. Imagine from this assembly Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Very powerful men and women because God will marvelously help us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. To be helped by God is to be helped indeed. Oh, yes. To be helped by God is to be helped indeed. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. So it is wisdom to rely on the help of God. And that's why it's very important that you follow all our teachings in, in this great month of July to understand how we can leverage 
this help of God. Amen. And I see the help of God marvelously coming upon you, Amen. coming upon everything that concerns you, Amen. and it will be evident for all to see Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In this great month of July, and the remaining half of this year, the marvelous help of God will come your way through the ministry of angels. Amen. In, Habak in Hebrews chapter 1, Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 14, Hebrews 1 14. The Bible will make it very clear in that place. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Say, Are they not ministering spirits sent forth to help those who are heirs of salvation? Mm. Praise God. Hallelujah. So expect angelic help and assistance this month and beyond in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will also show you again Exodus chapter 23 and verse 20. Exodus 23 and verse 20. Exodus chapter 23 verse 20 says, Behold, I sent an angel before thee, to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a prepared place for you. Yes. There is a place God has prepared for you. Amen. And God is saying that He will send an angel before thee. Amen. What will that angel do? That angel will help you Amen. by keeping you in the way. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because the tendency is for you to be distracted by the things you see. If the tendency is for you to be oppressed by the things you see. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, St. Paul said, when we came into Macedonia, said, we did, we are fierce. We, we thought we are fighters. But God comforted us by the coming of Titus. The coming of Titus was a help to them to keep them in the way. So God will send his angels your way to keep you in the way. Amen. So that no matter what you see, no matter what the world is experiencing, you will remain in that way mm -hmm. so that you will get to the prepared place. Amen. There is a destination for you. Mm -hmm. There is a destiny for you. Mm -hmm. And that is what the angel will do. The angel will bring you into the place where God has prepared for you. Amen. And I see you getting there in the name of Jesus. Amen. In this month of July and beyond, the marvelous help of God will come your way through the ministry of destiny helpers. In the form of human beings. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's look at first Chronicles chapter 12, from verse 20 to 23. First Chronicles chapter 12, reading from verse 20. As he went to seek life, they fell to him of Manasseh, Adna, and Zobah, and Jediel, and Michael, and Zodab, and Elihu, and Zithai, captains of the thousands that of, were of Manasseh, and they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, they there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the brand, bands that were ready armed to the war and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him according to the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you can see in this place that this David's mighty men, you know, the Bible calls them David's mighty men, that they came to help David. They came to help David to realize his destiny. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible called them the host, the great host. It was a great host, like the host of God. Mm. Praise the Lord. I know angels are called hosts of God. Mm. So these are angels in human form. So God will send angels in human form to bring us to our place in destiny. Hallelujah. Our destiny help us. Amen. What did these great men, these great helpers do? For David, the Bible says that they helped David 
to fight the battle. They help David to, to fight the, the band of the rovers. And they also ensure that David became king. They ensure that the kingdom was torn to David because it was rightfully his. It was his destiny, mm. according to the word of God. Amen. So all that the Lord has spoken concerning you, God will send men your way Amen. who will help you this month Amen. and beyond Amen. to realize your destiny Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. In this great month of July and beyond, the marvelous help of God will come your way Amen. through those that even hate you. Oh, yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Even those that hate you, even those who have called themselves your enemies, Amen. for not just because they hate you, they hate you because of your convictions. They hate you because of your blessings. But God will even use them to bless you. Amen. Turn in your Bibles to Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 7. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 7 says, When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So your enemies will be at peace with you and they will even favor you. Amen. They will help you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So God will even use your enemies to bless you. Amen. Something uh, uh, wonderful happened in First Samuel chapter 30. When David came to Ziklag, he found out that the Amalekites have raided the, the entire city. And they took everything they had. They took their victuals. They did not only take their property. They took their wives and children. Praise God. The Bible says that David wept so, and the people were on him. They, they looked up to him to deliver them as their leader. They nearly stoned David. What did, but what happened? God yeah, even used God. an Egyptian, an Egyptian boy, an enemy, to give them the information that they needed to recover all. Praise mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. An Egyptian lad gave them the information. And an enemy turn to a helper. Praise the Lord. So God will turn enemies to your help as helpers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this great month of July and beyond, the marvelous help of God will come from unexpected, strange, and surprising portals. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you read Job chapter 5, 8 to 9 from the message translation? Okay. Job chapter 5. Job chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. From the message translation says, verse 8 and 9. If I were in your shoes, if I were in your shoes, I will go straight to God. I will go straight to God. I'll throw myself on the mercy of God. I'll throw myself on the mercy of God. After all, after all, he's famous for great and unexpected acts. Say he's famous for strange and unexpected acts. There is no end to his surprises. And there is no end to his surprises. Praise the Lord. See, I, I love that translation. He says, if I were you, I'll go to God. Who is my helper? Say there is no end to his surprises. You know, he does unexpected things, yes. strange things. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. So, God will help you Amen. from unexpected quarters. Amen. From strange quarters. Amen. And it will come to you like a surprise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've already said that, you know, that I'm not surprised that God surprises me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because that, that is his talking in prayer. Mm -hmm. But I'm usually surprised by the people that he uses. Oh, yes. To surprise me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He uses straight people, people that we don't even expect. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was telling my wife this morning that sometimes you find that even those that you know, even those who, who are even close to you, that, they, you, that if you look up to them for help or for to help you to achieve your vision, that most times they are not there from the beginning. It is when you now realize, you know, that you become famous, that they will start claiming relationship. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> but most times, <laughs> most times, the, you know, if, if people that even provide them are people that you don't even expect. Yes. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, so that is why it is important for us to look up to God for help. Because God knows the right people 
they will use. People whose hearts, hearts are open, whose, who will not see you, okay, just look at you, okay, they, so some will just commonize you because they're they used to you. They see you around, they know where you were born, they, 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 they saw you when you were wearing diaper, praise the Lord. <laughs> and they saw you in a very raw state. And they will even ask, what, what good can come from this person? Okay. Just then, after they ask, what good can come from Nazareth? Mm. When he now heard Jesus speak, he now said, truly, you are the Son of God. Mm. He said, you have not seen anything yet. Mm -mm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have not seen anything yet. You mm. will see the heavens open. Mm -hmm. And the angels of God, they say that I am ascended. Yes, yes. Ministering to the, to the Son of God. Mm -hmm. So, you need to look up to God. Because God will command Unexpected, strange, and surprising people to surprise you and to help you in this great month of July and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Also, in this month of July and beyond, expect the marvelous help of God yes. through the ministry of His prophets. Yes, yes, yes. Through the ministry of His prophets. Just like I'm coming your way, speaking the, the mind of God to you. I'm helping you. Helping you. Speaking life to you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's look at Ezra chapter 5 and verse 2. Ezra, the book of Ezra chapter 5 and verse 2. Uh, Ezra chapter 5 verse 2. Ezra chapter 5 verse 2, reading from KJV, says, then rose up Zerubbabel, the son of Shittim, and Joshua, the son of Zodak, and began to build the house of God, which is at Jerusalem. And with them were the prophets of God helping them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The people were building, and God had to send the prophets to help them. So the prophets were there helping them. So you need prophetic help. You need prophetic help in that. And this month, expect that prophetic every hand to come your way Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let's look at the effect of that prophetic every hand in that same Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. Yeah. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. And the elders of the Jews built it, and they prospered through the prophesy of Hiya the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel and according to the commandment of Cyrus and Darius and Artaxerxes, king of Persia. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By reason of that prophetic help, what happened? He said that the elders of the Jews built it. They built their, their destiny, their business, their career. By reason of the prophetic help in them. And what happened? They prospered. You will prosper this month. Amen. I say you will prosper this month. Amen. You will prosper this second half. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So they prospered by the prophesying of Hagar the prophet. Amen. So I prophesy to you prosperity this month. Amen. This half year. Amen. In the name of, of the Lord. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive it I in receive the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20. 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20. It says, Believe the Lord your God, you shall be established. Believe God for your establishment. Then believe his prophet and you shall prosper. Right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I come to you as a prophet of God. And I prophesy to you that you shall prosper. Amen. You shall prosper in your health. Amen. You shall prosper in your finances. Amen. You shall prosper in your relationships. Amen. You shall prosper in your business. Amen. You shall prosper in your careers. Amen. You shall prosper in your academics. Amen. You shall prosper in whatever you find your hand doing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I prophesy that you shall receive any help. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the Bible says that in Psalm 46, we are verse 5, where we read in our, in our Psalms this morning. Very beautiful Bible passage. I would, I would love us to read that Psalm 46 and verse 5 again to, to show you what God will do for us in this great month. 
Psalm 46 and verse 5 says, God is in the midst of her. Oh yeah, God is in our midst. She shall not be moved. We shall not be moved. God shall help her. God shall help us. And that right early. And that right early. I, I, I love that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me read it from the from the New Living Translation. It says, God dwells in that city. It cannot be destroyed. Nothing can destroy your blessings. Nothing can destroy what concerns you. See, from the very break of day, hallelujah, that means in the morning of your life, not in the evening, when you are already singing your long dimities. No, it should be in the early of your life, praise the Lord. God will help you right early, hallelujah. Amen. God will help you in the morning of your life. Yes. The Bible calls him the bright and morning star. Hallelujah. Not the afternoon star. Mm -mm. Not the evening star. Mm -mm. No, but the morning star. Yes, you, your own star will shine in the morning of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Not when you, you are already old that you can say that, oh, I have no strength to do these things. Praise the Lord. No. When you, when you, it is not when you have lost your test box. You know, no, you have to enjoy those delicious food now. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to enjoy the blessings of God in, when you are still young and are strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive that help right now. Amen. Receive that early help right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Say, Amen. God is in the midst of us. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and that's why, you know, David prayed a prayer and said, Lord, satisfy me early with your blessings, with yes. your mercy. Yes. Satisfy me early with your mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. That's in Psalm 90, verse, verse, from verse 14. It says, Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy, that you may rejoice and be glad all our days. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God will send early help to you. Amen. You shall be satisfied with early help Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you will rejoice all the days of your life Amen. in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, that is God's word concerning this month and the, and the, and the months to come. We walk in this revelation and God will marvelously help you Amen. in every area of your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In our Sunday services this month, we shall be looking at the topic, Divine Channels of Help. Oh. Divine Channels of Help. So I will just do introduction in the next 10 minutes, and then we'll continue the series in the subsequent Sundays. Praise the Lord. Divine Channels of Help. God is the ultimate source of help. God is the ultimate source of help. We only read today in our Psalms, Psalm 46 and verse 1. I love that psalm. Before the, the service started, I was chanting it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a refuge of strength. A very present help in trouble. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know I'm an excellent area. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So God is the ultimate source of help. Yes. The psalmist said, God is our refuge and strength. A Amen. very present help in trouble. Ever present. Ever present. Praise God. Yes. He's always present. Yes. He's always present. Always present. He's never absent. He's not an absent father. No. He's not like us that may leave and go to another town maybe for two days assignment and leave the children at home. Maybe, maybe with their mother. No. He's not an absent father. He's always there. He's always there. That's why I love the song written and proposed by God's servant, Pastor Dr. Paul Adventure. So he's always there to help us. He's always there to help us. He's always there to help us. You are always there to help. You are always there to help me. No matter what comes my way, he's always there. 
to help us. He's always there for me. He's always there for you. He's not an absent father. He's always there. He's our ever-present help in trouble. Ever-present help. Praise God. And that's why St. Paul in his letter to the Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 13, can we read that? Hebrews chapter 13. Okay. Hebrews 13, 5 or 6. Hebrews chapter 13, 5 and 6 read. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye have. For he had said, I will, will never, never leave thee nor forsake thee. thee. Hallelujah. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The, 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 Paul said, he said, so that, so that we may boldly say, so that you and me can boldly say, The, the Lord is our helper. And, and we will not fear what man shall do unto me. Mm. So on, on what premise are we standing to make this bold declaration? Yes. The premise upon which we are standing, the word upon which we are standing is this word which says that I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's why the, the psalmist said that he is the ever-present help. He never goes on holiday. He is never an absent father. No. He never goes on vacation. He neither sleeps nor slumbers. That's why the, the, the psalmist also said that I will look up to the hills from okay. whence cometh my help. Yeah. He said, My help comes from the Father Almighty, who made the heaven and the earth. Why? Because he neither sleeps nor slumbers. He's always there for us. Always there for us. You'll find that in Psalm 121. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Always there to help us. He said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. If there is one thing that you need, you have to go home with today, go home with this point that God is ever present. He will never leave you nor forsake you. No matter what you are going through. No matter what you are going through. That's why the, the, the psalmist said that even though I go through the valley of the shadow of death. He, he's going through. He's going through. Not that he is stationary in one place. He's going through. He said, I will fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. Ever present God. Ever present God. He said, when you go through the fire, I will be with you. When you go through the flood, I will be with you. Fear not, I am always with you. Because I am your helper. He said, I will help you. That's his word. Amen. He said, I will surely help you. Amen. So God is our helper Amen. and he's always there to help us. Amen. He's the ultimate source of our help. Amen. Let's also look at Psalm 20. Psalm 20 verses 1 and 2. Very beautiful yes. psalm. Psalm 20 verse 1 and 2 says, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Amen. The name of the God of Jacob defend, defend thee. thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary uh, and strengthen thee, thee out of Zion. Zion. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, send thee help out from the sanctuary. That is where help comes from. It comes from the throne of grace. Amen. It comes from the throne of grace. Amen. That's why, you know, St. Paul also said, writing to the Hebrews, that we should boldly approach the throne of grace. In, in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. So let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To find grace to help in time of need. So God is the ultimate source of help. Praise the Lord. So, like I said earlier on, to be helped by God is to be helped indeed. God is the ultimate source of help. And it is absolutely his prerogative to use any channel he so wills. Praise the Lord. He is the ultimate source, but he uses channels. He uses channels to bless us. 
like Apostle Selma said in one of his messages, that our blessing comes from God through men. Praise God. So he, 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 he knows the right channel to use to bless us. So he, it is his prerogative to use any channel of his own will. You know, sometimes as human beings, we have our own channels that he, we want him to use. But he, he uses the channels that he so wills. Yeah. And look at what the Bible says in Psalm 115 and verse 3 to portray that point. Psalm 115 and verse 3. Psalm 115 verse 3 says, But our God is in the heavens. Mm. He had done whatsoever he had pleased. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Say, But our God is in the heavens. He had done whatsoever he had pleased. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is in the heavens and he does as he wishes. He does as he wishes. So he decides and wills the channel he will use to bless you. Praise the Lord. So to put your trust in man for help is to gamble with your destiny. To put your trust in man for help is to gamble with with your destiny. Jesus knew this, and that's why he did not commit himself to any man. Look at John chapter 2. Let's read John chapter 2, verses 24 and verse 25. John chapter 2, 24 and verse 25. Read it, please. John chapter 2, verses 24 and 25 says, But Jesus did not commit himself unto them, because he knew all men. And needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was a man. Praise the Lord. So Jesus did not commit himself unto them because he knew all men. He knew that man will fail you. He knew, he knew that man could disappoint. He did not commit his destiny to man. And he needed not that any of them should testify of him, for he knew what was a man. So if you keep trusting man, you'll be disappointed. To put your trust in man for help is to gamble with your destiny. Mm. There are so many people that will have trusted, who have hoped that you know to help us, but they did not. They did not. And in the process, we get disappointed because we had expectations. But when you put your trust in man, when you but when you put your trust in God, rather, God knows the right person, the right channel to use to bless you. Praise the Lord. And to look up to man for help is a recipe for disappointment, shame, crisis, vanity, and curses. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 60, verse 11, it says, Send help, O God, for help, for vain is the help of man. Yes. Vain is the help of man. We also saw in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 5, it said, Curses any man that puts his trust in man. In Jeremiah 17, verse 5. In your quiet time, you can read Psalm 146 and verse 3, Psalm 118, verses 8 and 9, to show that to look up to man for help is a recipe for disappointment, a recipe for shame, a recipe for crisis, a recipe for vanity, mm. and curses. That will not be your portion Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you cannot look up to God and be disappointed. Amen. You cannot. You cannot look up to God in life and be disappointed. He's always there to help us. He's always there to help us. Look at you know the psalmist in Psalm 5 and verse 3. Psalm 5 and verse 3. Look at what he said. Psalm 5. And verse 3 says, My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O My Lord. My voice shall thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer in unto thee. In the morning thee. will I direct my prayer unto thee. And will look up. And will look up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will not look horizontally. No, I will not look I will not look horizontally or, 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 or this way. I will, I will not look God. downwards. No, I will look up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will look vertically up, not vertically down. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I will not look horizontally. I will not look up to man, but I will look up. I will direct my prayers, my petitions, my intercession mm. 
to, to God who answers prayers, mm. who, who is always there to help. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And look at what happens when you look up to him. Psalm 34 and verse 5. Psalm 34 and verse 5 says, They looked unto him and were enlightened. Hallelujah. And their faces were not ashamed. Hallelujah. Amen. They looked unto him and they were enlightened. And their faces, we are not ashamed. You will never be ashamed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at the New Living Transition says, For those who look to him for help, you hear that? Yes. Those who look up to him, who look to him for help, will be radiant with joy. Amen. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. Amen. I love that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you look up to God for help, you will return with joy. You, have, you return your faces radiating with joy, and you will never be disappointed. Praise the Lord. Amen. You shall not be disappointed Amen. in life in the name of Jesus. Amen. This moment of helps, God will marvelously help you, Amen. and your faces will shine, and your joy you will be full. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you excited this yes. morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's give him praise. Let's worship him. Let's thank him for his good work. He has done all things well. Thank him. Thank him. If anything has dropped for you this morning, thank him. Thank you for his good work. Receive those prophecies. Receive those prophecies. Receive those prophecies. Let them become your reality. Begin to war with them. He said, St. Paul said to his son Timothy in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 18, that this, this child I commit unto you, O son Timothy, that the prophecies that went on before thee, that that by them might just war a good warfare. Begin to do a good warfare with those prophecies. We do a good warfare with those prophecies. Receive them. Receive them. What you do with those prophecies will determine if those prophecies will become a reality in your life. And receive them. Receive them by faith and begin to war with them. And begin to behave and profess those prophetic words. Thank you, Father, for these precious words. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. This morning, if you are not saved, if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you the opportunity to receive Jesus into your heart. This prophetic word will, ne will not work for you if you are not born again. You cannot call God your Father and call for his help if you have no access. It is Jesus Christ that gives you access to the Father. And you just have to receive him this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening, depending on your location, and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life, be my Lord and my Savior. And he will come in, and he will be with you and be your Father, and you will be his son and daughter. Pray this prayer after me if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior this, this time right now. And say after, say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your son Jesus, who died on the cross for me, and rose again on the third day for my justification. I believe with my heart, and I confess with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Wash me clean Wash me by the blood. And I receive today your Holy Spirit to live for you in newness of life. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for these precious ones who have surrendered their lives to you today. Father, as a church, we receive them into your eternal kingdom. I will rejoice with the host of heaven over these precious souls. Amen. I will pray, O oh God, that you keep them to the day of your appearance. Amen. The devil will not pluck them off from your hand. But you keep them and preserve them because you are able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of your glory with exceeding joy. Amen. Father, we pray that you baptize them with your Holy Spirit and power, Amen. with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Amen. Receive it right now. I begin to speak in the Holy Ghost mm. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, Thank for in you. Jesus' precious name 
Amen. We need our prayers. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today is also our global communion service. Every first Sunday of the month, we celebrate the communion to usher in the month and to receive strength for the journey. And wherever you are watching, in your bedroom, in your sitting room, in your workplace, wherever you are, in your bed coming, wherever you are in your garden, get your own elements. It could be a snack, it could be bread, bring your drinks, but, not, but bring a non-alcoholic drink and join us in this, in, in particular this mystery that has the capacity to give you eternal life. This is the body of Christ. We are to eat his flesh and drink his blood. We receive divine strength for the journey ahead. Amen. And we are being immune from every attack of the enemy. Every sickness disappears right now, dissolves, and every sickness is healed, and your strength is restored to the fullest, and you begin to walk in fullness of life. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you Father, we stand, O oh God, as, in, as your church, commemorating and remembering the death and mighty resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we ask, O oh God, that you consecrate these elements, they become to us the body and the blood of Jesus. Father, as we eat and drink, we receive eternal life. Amen. As we eat and drink, our health is restored. Amen. Every form of sickness, affliction of the enemy, demonic Amen. attack, is destroyed right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We, 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 we decree soundness of mind. Amen. We decree restoration of our bodies. Amen. Any organ that needs to be replaced is replaced right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we receive supernatural strength. Amen. We receive supernatural wisdom. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We receive Amen. supernatural help Amen. for every issue of concern. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We begin to do as Christ did. Amen. Even We shall even do greater works yes. because he has gone to you. Father, we thank you. Amen. We thank you. From this communion table, we receive our miracles, Amen. signs and wonders. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you. And we Lord. declare this communion table blessed. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So receive with joy and gladness of our God. And feed on him by faith and take your miracles in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. And the Lord begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, enforce your blessings in the Holy Ghost. Malaba Sukandalaba, Nikalaba Sukande, Laba Lababa, Zagadush, Bante, Kabu Sukandalaba, Mamma Mamma, Lame, Zagadu, Zugande, Bakalaba Sukandalibu, Nikalaba Baba, Mande, the Bu, Zagada Kababa, Mamma Mamma Sukandalaba. Father, we thank you. Thank you for filling us with the body and the blood of Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We thank you, we thank you for filling us with the body and the blood of Jesus. We are grateful for it. We give you praise. We give you praise for your partition of eternal life. Thank you, Father, because we are walking in newness of life. We are walking in newness of life. We are walking in newness of life. Ne kaba su dalaba, ne masu ka dalaba, ne mama su ka dalaba, ne mama su ka dalaba, ne baba baba, la ma su dalaba, ne mama ma su dalaba. Someone is being healed of eye disease right now. Ma su ka dalaba, su ka dalaba, ne mama ma, la ma ma su ka dalaba, ne mama ma. Someone is being healed of cancer of the duodenum. Receive it, receive it right now. Ma kalaba su dalaba, le mama su kandalaba, ma la mama, ma le baba. A cavity is being filled right now. 
Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Lama Sundalaba, Lika Laba Baba, Lima Mazudala Gada Gada, Sandalaba, so is a village promotion in the place of work. Ma Lama Sukandalaba, Lima Mama. Someone's fire that has been closed is being reopened in the name of Jesus. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Lama Sundalaba, Lika Laba Zugandalaba, Lama Masundalaba. Someone is being healed of a West Spain right now. Receive your healing 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 right now. Someone's right ear is being opened right now. Receive your healing right now. I command that ear to open right now. Begin to hear clearly. Begin to hear clearly. In the name of Jesus. A new day is done for you. 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 Malay Bosu Kandalaba, Lima Masu Kandalaba, Lima Mama. I sense that heart diseases are being healed. Heart diseases are being healed. Malay Sukande, Bala Kandalaba, Lima Masu Kandalaba, Lima Mama. Receive it, receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Lima Sukandalaba, Lima Mama, La Mama. A lost relative is coming back home right now. A lost relative is coming back home. A lost relative forgotten is coming back home. In the name of Jesus. I see relationship restored. In the name of Jesus. I see restoration in different areas. God is restoring people to their rightful place in destiny. Male, so, so people lost that place by reason of sin, by reason of mistakes, by reason of carelessness and ignorance. But God in his mercy is restoring you back to that rightful position where you belong. Receive it right now and begin to walk in that consciousness. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Have you been blessed? Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. We can be blessed. Why don't you put your hands together for Jesus? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. I say praise Jesus. Hallelujah. It is offering time. My I say it is offering time. My blessing time. Amen. Amen. Each time we gather in his presence, it's also an opportunity to work with him with our offerings, with our tithes, with any kingdom investment that we have come to worship him with. And when we sow our seeds in, in the spirit, in his kingdom, the Lord multiplies the fruits of our righteousness, he increases our harvest. Praise the Lord. So I want you to sow a seed for the new month. Sow a seed for the new month. Sow also a seed for the this last this second half of the year. Sure. The Lord does not forget a seed sown. You will never forget your seed. Sure. And expect supernatural harvest to come your way this month and this half year in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will send help to you. And remember all your offerings Amen. in Jesus' precious name. Amen. I said in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So package your offerings, package your tithes. We appreciate those who pay their, who pay their tithes in the course of the week. And those who will pay their tithes this morning is part of our covenant obligation to return with a 10% of all our increases and God. To multiply the night that they want to have room enough to contain it and he will give you brilliant ideas that will marvel your world in Jesus precious name. Amen. So let's package our offerings if you are in the US and uh, you want to pay your tithes or give your offering electronically you have as a Zell beautifysense at gmail.com if you're using cash app, it's dollar sign, beautiful sense. 
If you're using PayPal, you can go to our website, beautifysense.com. If you're making out a check, make it out in favor of Beautify Sense Church and mail it to us. All this information are pinned on the screen, the comment section. You will find those details there. And if you are in Nigeria, you can do a transfer to our Fidelity Bank account. The details are also there for you to use. And if you are anywhere in the world and you want to do a wire transfer, you can send us a mail to ask for the details. And as you do so, the God of heaven will bless you mightily in Jesus' precious name. Amen. If you package your offering, let's lift up our offerings and say to him, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the privilege to give unto you. We ask that you bless every seed so cause every seed to germinate and bear much fruit. We believe in the hundredfold, then there be hundredfold returns in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for every title. We pray that you open the heavens, rain down your blessings, and open the windows of heaven. Let our storehouse, O oh God, be flooded with your treasures to overflow it, that we we'll have enough room to contain in the name of Jesus. Give us brilliant ideas on what to do to maximize our benefits in Christ. Thank you, Father. Increase the fruits of our righteousness and reach us in every good work. Thank you, Father. And multiply your grace for us that we having all sufficiency will abound to every good work. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So as you cast your seed, please listen to the following announcement. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to welcome everyone worshiping with us for the very first time. Our online worshippers to welcome you. And we want to tell you that we are so happy that you joined. God bless you mightily. Amen. And we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. And we thank, we rejoice, and also thank our our side group in Abuja watching, we we'll give you all the praise, we we'll give all the praise for you, and the blessings of God shall remain upon you, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is Beautify Saints Church. God has commissioned us to raise a tribe of Beautify Saints through the prophetic word of grace. And by the grace of God, God has enabled us to keep on working on that vision. And we are glad that you are part and parcel of that vision. So let us know the areas that you want to be part of and how you want to be part of. You want to be a member? Let us know. And it's a global ministry. No matter where you are, you, you can be a member. So please let us know and we'll be glad to reach out to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good news. Hallelujah. Amen. Next Sunday is. Another time of fellowship, a wonderful time. And the theme of next Sunday service is help from above. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will be sending help from above next Sunday. So try and be in that service. It's going to be a wonderful time in his presence. Amen. That should be the 12th of July. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. And Again, we meet on Thursday for our hour of encounter. On Thursday by 7 p.m. We are here, 7 p.m. And that should be 12 midnight West African time. And on Sunday, the Sunday service is 10 a.m. with the 3 p.m. West African time. Praise the Lord. Amen. And God will bless you mightily in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And thank you, Lord. So if, if there's another announcement, we shall make, make it on our social media platforms. So try and join any of our social media platforms, if not all. And as you do so, the God of heaven will bless you. And we want to encourage you to share this video so that others within your sphere of influence can enjoy and be blessed by this today's service and the message that God gave to us. Share the video and go to our, our YouTube channel and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
and be part of what God is doing. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. The, ha the handle is Beautify Says Church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you happy being in church this morning? Oh, yes. Have you been blessed? Yes, praise yes, the Lord. yes, yes, yes. Let's be on our feet and pray to close. Let's give him praise. Lord, Lord, praise. Lord, I appreciate praise. the kingdom of glory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He has done all things well. Magnify his holy name. Worship his majesty. Give him all the praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Say after me. We are beautified by the spirit of grace. We are beautified by the spirit of grace. And kings shall desire our beauty. And kings shall desire our beauty. We walk in the beauty of God's holiness. We walk in the beauty of God's holiness. Because we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Because we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, therefore, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, therefore, His love is shed abroad in our hearts. His love is shed abroad in our hearts. We live by the faith of the Son of God. We live by the faith of the Son of God. Flourishing, flourishing, and prospering, and prospering by His favor. By His favor, we overflow with joy and gladness. We overflow with joy and gladness. We walk in divine wisdom. We walk in divine wisdom. We walk in divine health. We walk in divine health. We walk in power. We walk in power. And we do the word of. God. And we do the word of God. Therefore, therefore, we reign with Christ always. We reign with Christ always. And now unto him that is able to do, exceeding, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to his powers at work in us, be glory, both now and forevermore. Amen. 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 See you on Thursday. Amen. Amen.